Alright, this is a bush snail six person cabin tent uh, uh, assembly and inspe initial inspection. I'm going to set it up and check it out. So stand by. Here's a closer look at it. I had a little trouble with these poles. A couple of them were really stiff and wouldn't snap into place. But I got them. Yeah. That kind of worries me. It's just flat. It just lays there. Yeah. Nice. I can actually stand up in this thing. And it's got this hanging like a lamp from there. Uh, so I got windows on all sides, including this big ass door. And it's got ties so I can tie it, I guess, like that or something. So that's the flooring, very wrinkled. So this will definitely fit my cot, for sure. I think there's a... Uh, I thought there was like a vent on the flooring. Oh yeah, right there. That's, that's what it is. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the rain fly on next. See how it looks. Yep. So finally got the frame fly on. As you can see, the uh, barn here holds this 
place. So this is the Bushnell 6 person. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to set up, but it is worth it. I'm going to do something about those. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is that it had a ground vent here that yes kind of stake to the ground too so that's nice oh this side is really wrinkly look at that yeah it's probably too short I should have stretched it up more but anyway That's what it looks like, and I am exhausted. I'm gonna go take a nap. All right. On a side note, um, these were easy to pull off when you first get them, so I had to uh, retie them on, and uh, also made a knot at the end of the rope there. And uh, I have no idea how they tied these, uh, uh, but uh, kept them more loose and long, and I just kind of had to, I don't know, improvise. But you want to retie those on. So this is what I did here. Let's see, it's a mess. That one was off, and uh, that one too. So that's about it, really. Um, I should probably mention that the zippers are self-repairing. Uh, got some fabric caught in this one down here, and uh, yeah, I think I think this stuff here. And I had to really mess with it, but it's fixed now, so that's good. So, and another thing I wanted to show you here real quick that I noticed that I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. We go in here. Now, that's the top of the window right there. That's it. Not a whole lot uh, holding down. In fact, I can just I can easily just pull it down like this. So uh, I have no idea if that's going to be a problem later on. What I might try doing is getting some cord and tying one big long piece there, and then I can tie that that uh, to maybe up here or something. I don't know. I can figure something out, but they're all like that. They're all open on the top like this, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. I better get some paracord and keep it at the ready, just in case for some reason they, it just doesn't work in a rainstorm. And some duct tape. I don't want duct tape, that's for sure. Oh man, it's hot in here. <laughs> it is hot. It just hot in there real quick. And that's, and that's uh, yeah, standing in the sun and it got really hot in there. So, anyway, I'm gonna sit like this and then later I'll, I'll take it down and I'll film that too. So, stay tuned. All right, now for the disassembly. These stakes stuck, don't use them. They are just the worst. I can't remember how that thing folds up. I'm gonna have to go on YouTube and look. Okay, uh, I didn't find anything on YouTube, so I'm just gonna have to improvise and do the best I can.
a side note, um, after having uh, assembled it and everything and figured out how it all works, um, uh, I like the tent. It's a neat tent. So I'm going to use it as my main large camping tent for car camping. And just, uh, I'm going to take it out here in a week or two and really give it a test, a good field test. Spend, a night, spend the night out in it and see how it goes. Um, I am worried about those windows, the window tops. Uh, I'll keep paracord and duct tape on standby for those in case for whatever reason they leak or they keep coming down or something. So we'll figure that out. Uh, uh, the, the only problem I had doing by myself was the rain fly. Um, I had a good guess of wind. I kept blowing it everywhere. I kept getting snagged on the poles. But if I, I figured out that if I uh, I can snap and place on one pole or one corner and drag it over uh, roughly and snap in place, you know, without getting too hung up, um, I can probably finish it all by myself and uh, unsnag it on the top and drag it over and everything. My biggest problem uh, doing it by myself was that it was really light and kept blowing everywhere. So, but I think I can do it by myself. I, I don't know, I'll have to try it out. In this, this video was just entirely me just figuring out uh, this tent for the first time and seeing how it goes. Uh, so, and uh, my, my first impressions of it. And I, I like it. It's like going to be a good, big, roomy tent. <laughs> so, alright. Like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. As soon as I crank them out of my butt. See you later.